Hi. We know that in CAT, one topic which has the most weightage is reading comprehension. So 24 questions on reading comprehension alone, which is a huge 24% of the paper is RCs. So if you really want to score high, you need to do well in RCs. To do well in RCs, you have to read. Read well, read a lot. Where do you read from? If I want to look at CAT, where is the reading that will come from? So we have to look at the past CAT papers and see what are the sources from where the passages come from. So let's try to understand that because that will help us to know where do we read from and practice accordingly. I would normally recommend you reading these articles only once your habit of reading. Then reading these articles makes sense. So make a habit first of reading, read novels, read newspapers, and then you move on to the passages that we're talking about. So first, the sources. If you look at 2017 to 19 paper, there were five passages only from New York Times. Okay, let me just put it a little differently. There were five passages from 2017 and 18 paper from New York Times. And there were zero from this source in 2019. So don't try to look at patterns. I mean, if you look at pattern, you'll say, oh, there were five passages in 2017-18. So it is important. So there will be passages in 2019. Wrong way of thinking. So 2017 and 18, yes, five passages, zero to the 19. But overall, in the three years, there were five maximum passes from New York Times. Four passes from Aon, three passes from Time, three passes from Guardian, three passes from Smithsonian Magazine, two passes from Economist, two passes from Atlantic. So if you look at these sources, they mainly all the international newspapers or magazines. Right? International newspaper or magazines. So these are the sources where you need to read from to be comfortable with the passages that come in the RCs. Right? So we know the passages, we know the sources. Now let's look at what are the type of passages that came in each of these three years. If you look at, they're from varied. So if you look at in 2017, we had passes from BBC, Aeon, Time and two from New York Times. This is the first lot of the paper. Right? And what were the topics all about? One was on maps, okay. One was on evolution. One was on shopping mall, in Olympics, and sport sport opinion. So different sources, different things, okay. So they're not from one topic. So normally, cat is known to give you articles from different sources so that they check on you whether you're able to comprehend sources from different ideas. Same if you look at second slot. You have New York Times, The Guardian, Smithsonian Magazine, Aeon, Guardian. What are these? Right from electric cars to creativity, Vikings, your whole history. Okay. Then Subnivium, this is about the soil. Okay. And typewriters. So various sources, various things. So to get comfortable with this, it makes sense to read from different sources and maps. Same if you look at 2018. Oh, there was an article on Hindustan Times. I know there was an article also on one other editorial of newspaper from Indian newspaper, but normally most of the new articles are from abroad. But yes, we had one from Hindustan Times 2018 first lot. Okay. But there are others were from science, which was again evolution, again recycling of plastic, elephant crack up, and growth. So different thing. economics to science to different matters on that. Same if you go to second slot. Okay, Saturn rings. Okay, very different from what others came from. Okay, so it also measuring performance metrics. Okay, smile. I mean, look at look at look at the topics which are there. Stone age, and creative results. Hiring creative people. So different sources. But if you look at magazines, are same. Forbes, Economist, Aon, Aon, Smithsonian magazine. More of international magazine where they come from. You need to be comfortable with those. 2019, if you look at there's nothing from either New York Times or Aeon. Okay, there was one from book. It was not a book extract, but it was about the book. I mean, topophilia. Very difficult to, I mean, if you just read it, you can understand it, but a book. But normally you don't get a book, but you do sometimes pick, pick up an extract from a book or something about a book. Remaining all are, you know, articles. Article Emperor Penguins. Okay and folk music so different and right to aladdin which is there okay so different kind of stories and second again is you have from prospect magazine npr daily apart from economist atlantic and time linguistic so you need to be good at literature 
British colonialism and governments etc and history which is there. So if you look at this, if I broadly look at the topics that have come from these sources, these are normally from the international magazines. So it makes sense to get used to those languages that will help you to read better. That's one aspect about it. Secondly, in these magazines, try to read something from a diverse topic, not from this one. So you can look at ideas from Aeon or some opinions, etc. Pick different sources and read. Okay. And try to read from and that will give you a better idea about reading. But normally I recommend this only after you read or ha get a habit of reading. If you just read one article per day, I think that is more than sufficient for your preparation for the CAT exam. But this would give you a fair idea of, you know, the preparation as such. So broadly speaking, these are the magazines. A good source to read this magazine would be aldaily.com. Aldaily.com is a portal, okay, where you get these articles from different magazines, right, from Aeon, etc. So you can go to aeondaily.com and from there you can pick up maybe Aeon or some of these magazines and pick up articles and read. That could help. I hope this helps. Hope this helps in your preparation. Right? Thank you.